Hey everyone, so I'm here to do the A to Z book tag. I was tagged a long time ago by Kales over at Kales Corner. I will put a link down to her. Da, da, da. I will put a link um, to her channel down in the, you know, doobly doo um, if you want to go check out her channel because she's amazeballs. So yeah, like I said, I was tagged um, to do this a very long time ago and I actually did the tag and then I like erased the video because I'm an idiot. So um, here I'm going to do it again. All right, let me go ahead and get the questions here. Let's log out of Bob's Burgers because I'm currently binge watching that. All right, so the first question is author you've read the most books from. Um, I think the I think it's either Cassandra Clare or Lemony Snicket. Lemony Snicket has 13 books in his series and Cassandra Clare, mm, Cassandra Clare only has like nine, 10. So it's like, like right there because I've read you know the six city the six city of bones the mortal instruments books the three infernal devices Bane Chronicles and that's only 10 and then Lemony Snicket has 13 so Lemony Snicket B is best sequel ever oh man I don't know <laughs> all right so I really love um sequels to books um uh you it, the first book in a series is is not usually my favorite because I like um the books farther on in the series after <laughs> sorry after um we've already gotten to know like all the characters and stuff and so um i'm gonna go with prodigy by marie lou the second book in the legend trilogy and also catching fire from the hunger games trilogy um i really love both of these books i really think that they're both great sequels um and i think i like catching fire and prodigy um the most out of both of those trilogies so these ones. All right, uh, C is currently reading. I am currently reading, and I, my camera stacked on the book. Um, I'm currently reading *The Martian* by um, Andy Weir. Why are Weir? Um, I'm only like 40, 50 pages in, and I'm, it's taking me forever to read it. And I'm trying to finish it by the end of the month so that I can go watch the movie while it's still out in theaters. But um, I'm loving it so far. It's so far, yeah, so farty. It's so farty. <laughs> Um, Mark Watney is really, really funny. I love his sass. I have a mark for, like, every, um, like, sassy remark that he makes. It's just, it's great. And so I can't, I, I've heard it's amazing, and I had a friend, I have a friend, um, I had a friend. I have a friend who just finished it, and so she, like, wants me to finish it so we can go watch the movie. So I'm trying to do that. <laughs> All right, D is drink of choice while reading. Um, probably either, like, hot chocolate or tea. It's not really cold right now, um, so I don't drink anything while I read. I don't really like to do anything but read when I'm reading, so I don't like to eat or, like, drink or anything. I'm, like, you, I make, like, a fort of, like, pillows and blankets in that corner, and I just, like, snuggle in the corner, and that's, like, how I do my reading. Um, so, yeah, there's no room for, like, extra... If I had an extra arm, maybe, but even then, you know, I lean back, and it, sh it, sh it would just be a difficult situation, so... You know, if I did drink, it'd be either hot chocolate or chamomile tea. It's my fave. E-reader or physical book? Definitely physical book. Um, obviously, I have like a few hundred in my room. Um, I had a Nook. My mom uh, got me a Nook when I was 15, and I read about like 11 books um, on the Nook until I like stopped using it. Um, that's where I read... Um, Clockwork Angel and Clockwork Prince and I finished them really fast like that's one thing I did like is that I finished books um, a lot faster when on the nook it seemed but um I just love books like holding them and just there's I just love them you can hold them like I said and you can just they smell delicious and with physical books they come with like extra stuff sometimes like um, I was just going through um so my truly <laughs> my the Cassandra Clark books over there and City of Fallen Angels, the hardback, I bought um, every book except for the first three. I have purchased um, when they came out because I started reading the series seven, seven, almost eight years ago. Um, and so only the first three books were published. And so all the rest of them I have in hardback. And the City of Fallen Angels book um, comes with an actual... Um, letter that Jace supposedly or not supposedly that that Jace wrote to Clary in the book and so the actual physical book comes with this long um letter that he wrote to her and it's like the best thing ever it comes with like an M Morgan Stern sticker and it's like handwritten and it's so cool so yeah physical books definitely a fictional character you probably would have dated in high school huh 
considering that I had that, that I did not date anybody in high school, um, I would have no idea. <laughs> Thinking about it, um, like all of my favorite guy fictional characters, <gasps> Will, Jem, oh my God, Jem, 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 Jem. Jem. <laughs> I always say that Jem Carstairs and Four from um, the Divergent series are like my OTP with myself. So that would probably be my answer. Before I like thought of that, I was looking at my bookshelf and I saw Elnor and Park. Um, Park is an awesome character and he would have probably been a lot of fun to date because he was like a total comic book nerd and just dorky and I love that. Um, I was also thinking of like Magnus Bane would have been an awesome person to date. Probably not in high school but like now or in a few years. I mean, he is bisexual, so I mean, I do have a chance, but he is taken, so that probably wouldn't work out too well. Okay, I'm um, glad you gave this book a chance. I always think of um, The Outsiders um, by S.E. Hinton. I read that book when I was in elementary school and I absolutely loved it. Um, it was a book that I think I had to read or I was given a list and I chose to read it or something. And um, I would have never read it if I wasn't like made to read it in high in elementary school and I loved it and I love the movie and Essie Hinton is a big fan of Supernatural she's like on the show not on the show but she visits the set all the time and so I was thinking about how funny that was that one of my favorite like element or childhood books um the author is somehow connected to one of my favorite things now and so yeah the outsiders all right so the next question is a hidden gem book um the book that I always think about this one um, is The Secret Life of Bees. Um, this is, it's kind of a classic. It's a pretty well-known book. Um, but I discovered this book in a farmer's market one day. And uh, I just saw it and I bought it. And then I read it when I was a junior, I think, in, in, a junior or senior in uh, high school. And um, I just had never heard anybody else talk about it. And I had watched the movie. but And it's not so much as, as, as a hidden gem, but it was a hidden gem for me because of the way that I found it, I guess. So, yeah, The Secret Life of Bees. It's one of my favorite books ever. I love it. All right, the next one is Important Moment in Your Reading Life. Um, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, probably being a kid and reading a lot of books. Probably reading, like, Harry Potter. Because when I was in elementary school, um, we had to do these the, these tests called AR, we, uh, AR, um, Accelerated Reader, and you would read a book and then you had to take a test on it. And so I always remember um, probably two moments, like the first when my mom would, would read to me as a kid. But then I remember when I was like in fifth or sixth, fifth or sixth grade, probably sixth because that's when the last Harry Potter book came out for me. Um, <laughs> the Harry Potter books, you know, they're huge. And so those books were worth a lot of points. And I was in competition with this other girl in my class. And so we were like competing to reach that 300 point mark. And I think, I don't know, I don't remember who won. I think I did, honestly. But um, yeah, I remember like reading those books, um, like hitting, killing two birds with one stone. One, because I loved them and I really wanted to finish the Harry Potter books. Um, and number two, because they were a lot of points and I really wanted to win, be like the highest amount, highest point whatever reader in my class. So probably that. All right, so the next thing is just finished. I just finished, um, I just had it. Where'd it go? Wrath and the Dawn. I finished this one a while back and um, this is the last book that I finished before I read The Martian and I'm going to do a book review. I know I've been saying that forever. The next one is kinds of books you won't read. I don't know. I read like a lot of genres so I so I probably wouldn't read something that's like too far on either end of the spectrum of a certain genre because then it's just like too much. But um, yeah, I don't really have that many limits on my reading. The next one is Major Book Hangover because, oh man, so many books, guys. So many books. Mockingjay, uh, uh, City of Heavenly Fire, Clockwork Angel, or uh, Princess. That one, that was a major one. I was like, oh my God, it's over. <laughs> but The Kite Runner, that's another book that I like was majorly like having feels um after I finished that one the boy in the striped pajamas I always I always repeat these same books I really need to read more <laughs> oh the grapes of wrath that's a that's a classic that I read and that I like kept thinking about over and over after I finished it because like that last scene with the, the the you know if you read that book um yeah that one had me thinking after a while but yeah I think those are the um major ones that I've had book hang book hangovers with Cassandra Clare, man, she knows how to write an ending. Next one is number of bookcases you own. All right, so I my camera is currently standing on one of my bookcases. Two, I have an invisible bookshelf 
thing over there and then a long one on top of my um my closet so technically two bookcases but like four book areas if you know what i mean um and i need more because i'm like seriously if you see that stack right there i'm running out of space and i need another something to put my books because running out of space again that was the whole point of this bookcase right here that the camera is standing on and it already it's already full the next one is one book you've read multiple times i know i've read the twilight series <laughs> twice um when I was all into that I read the first Harry Potter book twice um and I think that's it I don't really read books over and over again I want to like I really want to read um all of Cassandra Clare's books again mostly because of the show um I really want to read all of Lemony Snicket's books again um and Harry Potter just so I can relive that because the last time I read them it was like 10 years ago um if I think and um yeah I just like reading new stories and getting into new things. Alright, so the next question is a uh, P preferred place to read. Uh, definitely my bed. I like to just like, like I said, I'll get like all of my pillows. I have, I sleep with so many pillows. I like to collect pillows. That's another topic for a different video. But um, yeah, I like to like get all my pillows and just stack them everywhere and then just like lay down in them and like read so the next one is quote that inspires you gives you all the feels from a book you've read there's honestly so many like i don't even know where like i there's so many that i can't even think of one um i have a couple from the a couple of the book a couple of books that i've recently read um one that i really like from the perks of being a wallflower is um near the end of the book like the last four pages and it's so i guess we are who we are for a lot of reasons and maybe we'll never know most of them but even if we don't have the power to choose where we come from we can still choose where we go from there we can still do things i, I don't even know i just really like that quote and um I have a lot. I really enjoyed this book, and I this is one that I kind of want to reread too, just to like experience it again. But um, yeah, I really like that one quote, and yeah, I think about it like all the time. The next one is reading regret. Um, I don't really regret any of the books that I've read because even if I did or did not like them, at least I read them, so I now know. Um, I guess I regret not reading a whole bunch of books that I still have yet to read. Um, maybe like some children's books that I could have read when I was an actual child um but yeah I don't really have any reading regrets three of your all-time favorite books okay why would you do this to me why would you do this to me I don't know I just I don't like this question because I mean I have books that I that always come to mind when um like I said what's your favorite book but um I refuse to answer this I refuse uh, unapologetic fangirl for um, definitely Cassandra Clare because I'm sure that once this the show comes out everybody's gonna be like oh it's just about uh, vampires it's like Twilight again oh god if somebody says that it's like Twilight they're gonna get it uh, <laughs> but yeah I guess that would be one that you know people could make fun of I guess uh, I was an unapologetic Twilight fan when I was into that um, Harry Potter obviously um, I don't even know I uh, like should you, you shouldn't be apologetic for a book that you read um unless you're like a worshiper of satan then that's bad next one is very excited for this release more than others definitely the next cassandra clare book that is coming out next march I, oh my god i am so excited for that book and i think i've said it before the tales of a shadow hunter academy um the hardback like they're gonna actually publish an actual book of all the stories like the main chronicles i'm so excited for that because it's more of our tmi characters after the after city from the fire and it's just it's it's gonna be amazing and i've heard things like malik and warlock baby and and so i'm like very excited for the next two cassandra claire books that are coming out next year the next one is worst bookish habit probably just not reading it's so i annoy myself because like i want to read and i know I, I i like to sit down and read for like hours at a time i don't really like i mean i will i guess but i don't really like just reading a page or two every like whenever i get a chance i'd rather like just dive into a story and just escape and just be in the story for like a while and I like to do this at night because it's quiet and it's dark and i can it's usually colder and i can just like snuggle up and it's just like I'm nearing the end of my semester of school and it's like I don't have that much time especially now since I'm nearing the end like I said and like finals and stuff and so 
I'm like super, super looking forward to December when I'm on break because, ooh, I'm going to read so much and rewatch Supernatural probably. <laughs> the next one is X marks the spot. Start on the top left of your shelf and pick the 27th book. This involves me getting up. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to use that shelf over there since it's my biggest one. And before I get up, I am wearing pajama bottoms. I know you all do this. Don't lie. So don't. I'm wearing pajama bottoms. Okay, shut up. Okay, so 27th book. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. All right. So the 27th book on my shelf was Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. Uh, yeah, this is another series that I seriously need to get into because I've heard it's amazing. I have an entire shelf. This one right here is dedicated to my two copies of Harry Potter because, you know. Um, but this one, I only have the one in the series. So I put this one like on top. So this is the 27th book. All right, the next question is your latest book purchase, The Why. What was the last book that I bought? I bought like a lot of books recently. Was it, um, I think the last book that I bought was Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I bought like four books in a day because I had like a whole bunch of coupons. So I just bought a bunch in one day. And the last question is Z, -Z, 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 -Z Snatcher book, uh, last book that kept you up way late. Oh my God. All of them. Like I said, I like to read at night. So like I will just stay up very late. Three, four in the morning and just to finish a book um yeah i i pretty much stay up really late to read all to finish everything all right so those are all of my answers for this tag i don't even know how long this video is going to be yeah thanks kales for tagging me and i will um see try and see who has who has or has not done this tag and i will tag whoever in the comments or not the comments, you know, the little thing down there. Um, I don't, it's my cord. And, uh, and all of you, if you're watching and if you have a channel and I don't know who you are, holla at me and your tags because inclusion. So, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!